Hey YouTube, Motor Racing Network, Steve Post here, and we have got a huge collection of new items that have come in. In fact, this is just the first of two tables full that we're going to have for you here on this Diecast Review Show. So let's start with these helmets. They're made by Brandart, and these things are gaining in popularity every week. And we're selling more and more of them, and I know your local Diecast dealer has them as well. So they are really, really going well, and some really unique items that we have here. Ryan Newman's Quicken Loans helmet autographed on the visor by Ryan Newman. And we have an Aflac helmet. This, of course, is Carl Edwards' helmet, and that's a beauty as well. Now, this one here, very unique helmet. As you look at this thing, this is Jack Roush's personally designed helmet. As we know, Jack is a pilot, and he loves military flying and loves flying general aviation overall. So Jack Roush developed this helmet, and this is his special helmet that we have. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., the Zest helmet. We have that as well. And well, coming off that win up at Martinsville, Kurt Busch and the Haas CNC helmet that we have for Kurt as well. We've had a couple of Austin Dillon helmets over time and they do really, really well. We have two of them right now, both autographed as well. The Dow helmet, autographed by Austin, and the Cheerios helmet autographed by Austin as well. Those are the two primary sponsors on his fame number three car, so we have each of those autographed by Austin Dillon. So these helmets are absolutely amazing, look great on the mantle or great in your man cave or wherever you keep your die-cast cars and all your NASCAR collectibles. So we have these helmets, and if you'll hang with us in just a moment, we're going to reset the table and show you some new and exciting die-cast as well. So with the table set, look at all of this new die-cast, the 2014 editions that we have in, and Lionel has gone with a little different finish. I know they have the special finishes along the way. This new one is vintage, and to describe this, well, it's kind of like the copper finish, but more of a matte finish to it, a little less shininess to it, but they are absolutely wonderful. Let's start down on this end. We have the Dillon Boys for Richard Childress Racing, the Yingling Light Camaro that Ty Dillon will race in the NASCAR Nationwide Series throughout the season. So we have that, and then we have his brother Austin's Sprint Cup Series car, the Cheerios car, and the Dow Chemicals car from Richard Childress Racing, as well as Ryan Newman's Caterpillar car, this again in the vintage finish. So this is the Richard Childress Racing Collection that we have in stock now. Let's look at Hendrick Motorsports. We've got Jeff Gordon, or Casey Kane that is. Get the, see the Pepsi Max, and I was thinking Jeff Gordon. We have Casey Kane with the Pepsi Max car. There's Jeff Gordon with the Drive Down Hunger car and another Casey Kane, his standard farmer's insurance paint scheme that we have in the vintage finish. We have the Ford Camp covered, Roush Fenway Fords, the Fastenal card for Carl Edwards. We have the 3M car for Greg Biffle and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. available as well. So Roush Fenway Racing and the Ford Camp represented with these new vintage finish die cast. Here's Matt Kenseth, Dollar General Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing in the vintage finish. Now next up we have Stuart Haas Racing and we are overrun with cars from Stuart Haas Racing. They are pumping them out and what's wrong with that? That's a great problem to have because that team is performing well and these diecast cars look really, really well as well. The vintage finish, Danica Patrick's Go Daddy Chevrolet looking awful good there and how about Kurt Busch's car? We've got the Haas Automation Finish, vintage finish for Kurt Busch. Got a bunch of Kevin Harvick cars, the Outback Colors, a car that he's going to run some this season, and of course we love the Bloomin' Mondays. We have got the Jimmy John's paint scheme in the vintage finish, and the Budweiser paint scheme for Kevin Harvick in vintage finish as well. We've got Tony Stewart's car in vintage finish, the Mobile One color, and the Bass Pro Shop. So all of these vintage finish cars, brand new and in stock, a new look this year for Lionel, and well, we do have the classic cars as well. Look at this Code 3 Associates sponsorship on Tony Stewart's car. He ran this car actually at Martinsville just a week or so back, and it uh, looks awful good. That is the standard finish that we have in stock as well. And stop the presses. Here we go. Dale Earnhardt Jr., 164th scale Diet Mountain Dew car is in stock, 2014 edition. In stock and ready to go. So your local diecast dealer has that and all of these cars and all the helmets that we showed you earlier or they're available at planbsales.com and hang in there with us we've got the post show coming up next
All right, it's time for the post show, but between the real show and the post show, look what fell out of the sky. Actually, the boss man Brent was over and he threw it at me. This is the Daytona 500 race winner's cap. Dale Earnhardt Jr., 56th annual Daytona 500 there on the back of it. So, oh, it never ends. Here at PlanBSales.com, we have got the Daytona 500 championship hat for Dale Earnhardt Jr. So, the hits keep coming. All right, now on to the post show. A couple of things we want to bring out this time. First off, you need to follow us on Facebook, and you can look it up, it's Plan B Sales and Marketing. And you can look us up on Facebook, every day during this month of April, we are giving away a car. It's called a car a day, and we're giving away a 124th scale diecast car every day, so follow us on Facebook. Now, to your questions, and, and these questions are down below here on the YouTube page, and we love your questions. What we've seen is a lot of questions. When will this car be out? When will that car be out? And you know, it's great questions and we love it. And we sit and wonder the same thing too. So we're with you on this question. There's a lot of times we just don't know the answer. The process is drivers, teams, sponsors all have to approve cars after they've won races or after it's a new design and that takes a little time to get through the process then it has to be designed and then it might have to run back through because if one person makes a change well then everyone's got to reapprove it so it takes some time as a general rule on cars race winning cars and cars that are brand new and announced you really need to look at about a six month window and I know that seems like a long time but that's just how long it takes for the process then to get produced and then to get shipped back to the United States and it's just that time period we all wish it's quicker I know Lionel I know the drivers I talk to drivers everyone wishes it's quicker but it is the system that we have right now and that's roughly what you're looking at so when you think about a race win we had a Carl Edwards winning question Look at that race win and look at about six months down the road and I think you can expect to see it. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s Daytona win, it's going to be sometime we're looking at probably early fall before that car comes in. It's just the process we live in now with everyone involved in the process and it's, it's frustrating at times. We understand it. We're in the same boat as you are. We want to sell these things. We want to move them. We're with you. It is frustrating but it is what it is and when we get them in, you'll be the first to know because we'll have them right here on the Diecast Review Show. So there you have it. Keep those questions coming in, though. We love answering your questions, love talking to you here on the post show. And again, Diecast, your local Diecast dealer, or at planbsales.com. We love that you guys are getting involved with us here on YouTube. We have the comments below. Feel free to mention your comments here. Follow us on Twitter, at Plan B Sales, and we'll keep you informed on what we have. And please get some back and forth conversation going because we love talking racing and love talking with you race fans out there, and we appreciate the business you do give us.